the newly created ITF Transition Tour was set out to give players a better standard of living and cut down the costs for tournaments hosting lower-level events. On the surface, the idea is a brilliant one welcomed by many. But in reality, the outcome has been one of anger and frustration. This year a new system is in place with ITF rankings being used for the first time. WTA points are only awarded to women playing in events that have $25,000 in prize money or more. In men's tennis, $25,000 ITF Pro Circuit events offer both ATP ranking points, later rounds and ITF entry points all rounds, while the qualifying rounds of ATP Challenger tournaments also offer both ATP ranking points all events and ITF entry points events up to $125,000 in prize money. Players can use their ITF ranking to enter into professional tournaments. There is a growing frustration among players with many saying that it is harder for them to get into tournaments compared to 12 months ago. Some of those have even lost their ranking from last year due to the size of the tour being reduced. On top of that, the draws have also been made smaller. Also at ITF underscore tennis the reason you say the average ranking on the ATP is down at the ITF level is because players all lost their ATP points from at 1-5 Ks. Take it Adam Chu he doesn't have a ATP ranking anymore cause you nicked them all so clearly the average ranking will be down. Mark Pecci, at underscore Mark Pecci, February 11, 2019 Dirk Hordorf is one of the most vocal critics of the changes. The vice president of the German Tennis Federation has extensive experience within the sport. Besides his position as vice president, Hordorf has worked with players such as Rainer Schuttler, Yen HSUN and has been a Davis Cup coach for Taiwan. Today, he is working as a mentor to both Janko Dipsarevic and Vasek Pospisil. Right now I am in Thailand on the Challenger Tour. Everyday players or coaches are coming to me, telling me they are reading my posts on Facebook and tell me how grateful they are and how much they support my point of view, Hordorf told Yuba Tennis. Also in Germany lots of players are having the same problems in contacting me. There is a Facebook petition against the ITF changes where over 10,000 persons already signed. It's very clear that all players are suffering under this new system and don't like it. To be more precise about the problem, Hordorf has said he has received a staggering 200 messages from players about their concerns. Either they are in a worse situation, can't get into tournaments or are struggling financially. It seems that the ITF tour is becoming more like a boulevard of broken dreams for many players. The number of places for players to participate in these tournaments is limited, so players with no ranking or bad ranking have no chance to participate in the tournaments. He said. I've heard from a lot of players flying around the world, going to tournaments and couldn't get in in reason of the limited qualification size. It isn't all doom and gloom when it comes to the circuit. Many accept that under the reform it is easier for junior players to make it onto the professional circuit at a young age. Should they generate enough ITF points? However, the older a player develops the more difficulty they face. For players in the ITF Top 50 it may be an easier way to get into the pro circuit with wild cards or free places on World Tour tournaments, said Hordorf. The pathway from juniors to pro tennis is one good point of this reform. On the other side, if you don't make it earlier in the junior career the way to the pro tennis is incredibly difficult or even there is no chance. This needs to be changed. The data sales argument last week, both the ITF and ATP issued statements to Yuba Tennis after claims made about data sales. In Facebook post, Hordorf said the ITF refused to accept an offer made by the ATP in relation to ranking points on the men's tour. He alleged that the ATP was willing to offer ranking points to tournaments at every level. The only condition was for the ITF to not sell their data to betting companies. In accordance to a recommendation set out via the Independent Review Panel IRP. 
the ATP supports the IRP's recommendation to remove the supply of data at the lowest level of professional tennis, however, this is not related to the award or allocation of ATP ranking points, an ATP spokesman said. Responding to the statement, Hordorf remains defiant, saying that Chris Kermode, who is the CEO of the ATP Tour, was willing to provide ATP points to all tournaments. However, it has been claimed by Ross Hutchins that the ITF never wanted those points. Hutchins is the chief player officer for the ATP. The official statement of Chris Kermode at the ATP meeting before 30 tournament directors was that the ATP was willing to provide points but the ITF didn't want to have points. After the Orlando meeting he commented that the ITF position that the ATP took from the futures the points away is false and not true at all. This was confirmed last week by Ross Hutchins, that the ITF didn't want ATP points. Why you think the ITF had this position? But if you take it word for word, there is no proof that ATP didn't want the stop of data selling against points. Data sales refers to the selling of live data from tournaments, e.g. Live scores of matches. The reason why the IRP recommended for it to be banned is to help tackle match fixing at the lower level tournaments. Since 2012, the ITF has had a multi-million pound deal with SportRadar, a company that analyses and collects sports data. In the terms of the contract, the company is allowed to provide live data from all tournaments linked to the ITF. What is next? Whilst there is an uproar among players and coaches, it is unlikely the ITF transition tour will be abolished. Besides the large amount of time it took to construct the concept, it would be a PR disaster for the governing body. However, that doesn't mean it can't be modified. When Hordorf was questioned about what he would do differently, the German outlined four key areas, ranging from the size of the draws to the ranking system. His views are similar to that of Dave Miley, who is seeking the ITF presidency position later this year. I believe that, one of our goals in leadership in tennis should be to promote the game, let more people play tennis, grow the sport, he said. This transition tour is the complete opposite. It limits players to participate and have a negative impact to the players, the coaches, to academies, clubs around the world. There is a change needed, Hordorf's four changes, increase qualifying draws to a Minimum of 64 remove the new entry fee to help players financially, abide by the IRP recommendation and abolish data sales, abolish the two ranking systems and return them back into one.